Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, normally answering your gaming and game night questions while striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. You can find me at tabletopbellhop.com where we are trying to be a dear Abbey for gamers, answering your gaming and game night questions. You can send game, game night questions to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or head to the website tabletopbellhop.com and click on Ask the Bellhop. On that webpage, you can also find your our answers to those questions. You can also get those via audio at the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast or here on Twitch live Wednesday nights at 9.30 p.m. Eastern or on YouTube. Uh, what we've got today, though, is what we're calling the Cardboard Code Check. This is our unboxing series where we answer the question, what's in the box? Today, that box happens to be Raiders of the North Sea from Renegade Games and Garfield Games. Uh, this is a 2017 Kenner Spiel de Jahr winner. The Kenner Spiel is the German Gamers Game of the Year award. So not family weight game, but like gamers weight game. Now, uh, we joke on the podcast that we are all about the new hotness, but the new hotness from 2015. Um, I'm all about what's new to me. I realize this game's been out for a while, and the buzz has kind of died off, but I am still really curious what's in this box, and I think I'm probably not the only one. Um, I've heard really good things about this game. I got a very, very short demo of this two years ago when I was at Origins, not even this year. This year when I was at Origins, I went to the Renegade Game booth, and I talked to Terry there, awesome representative for Renegade Games, and they were cool enough to give me a review copy of Raiders of the North Sea because I told her I was really excited to try this game out. And play a full game so that is where this box comes from i personally don't think that's going to influence my thoughts on this game i do try to be as impartial as i can but i do want you to know that this is a review copy i received from renegade games so enough of all that enough about me let's see what is in this box so raiders of the north sea is set in the central years of the viking age as viking warriors players seek to impress the chieftain by raiding nearby settlements players will need to assemble a crew collect provisions and journey north to plunder gold, iron, and livestock. There is glory to be found in battle, even in the hands of the Valkyrie, so gather your warriors, it's raiding season. So this plays two to four players, ages 12 and up, uh, whatever, probably eight and up, as long as your kids aren't going to eat the cubes, they can probably play it, uh, 60 to 80 minutes. So this is, this is a little heavier game than some of the ones we've reviewed. It's got over a 2.5 weight, so just a bit above medium, according to Board Game Geek. I do dig the small box. Though I gotta admit, it doesn't fit as nicely on my shelves as those standard ticket to ride box. I personally would have preferred the bigger box, but I also hate it when I get games with a lot of air. So it's nice to see they condensed it that way. Um, plus, this is one of my few Renegade game games, so maybe this is a standard side box for them. But I do kind of prefer the ticket to ride size box normally, just because it fits nice on my shelf. But then I hate wasted space. So this, uh, neutral thoughts on the box size. Um, it's worth noting this is a sticker, so I don't know if they put those on for Origins or if all the market copies now have that, but I thought it was interesting, so they haven't actually reprinted it. I'm gonna guess that the newest printings in the game probably have that on the box. All right, nice cover. Now you got no glare. I do dig the art right on the cover, it's nice. Show off the back quickly. And then we're gonna open this up. Box came open easy enough. We have instructions right up. On top, we're going to put those aside for a minute and get right to punch boards. Oh, first, an advertisement. I gotta admit, I like these. Um, they remind me of when I was a kid and I'd buy like a G.I. Joe and it would come to the packet and show all the other G.I. Joes, or as my kids like to call them, the checklists. So it shows all Renegade games. Um, I don't know if this is a new printing or if this will be the hot games from 2015. No, it says 2019 winter, so this is a new printing. So that's worth noting. I don't know if there's printing differences, so this. Box I'm unboxing would be a 2019 printing of this game. So I, I dig these. Like nowadays, you got Board Game Geek and everything else to tell you about games, but it's nice to know. Like if you play this, you're like, because back in the day, I would get one of these, from, say from Rio Grande, I play it, and I'm like, oh, I really like this game. What other games does this company make? I don't think that happens as much nowadays. So, cardboard, again, I'm going to pull these out one by one so you can see them. <laughs> Sorry, Grumpy Viking on the back of these just amused me. Looks very similar. And that's it for punch boards. We are right to the board. Okay, now this one, I remember being a big one. Despite being a small box, this is a big one. So I think I'm going to have to back up a bit to show this off. 
Again, I did do a short demo of this game, but I have not actually played a full game. There we go. As best I can kind of hold that out. We're going to hold it right about there. I'm going to peek through here so I can see if you guys can see that. There you go. That is the rather, i got to say, nice striking for Raiders of the North Sea. This is a very unique worker placement and displacement. So every turn you're going to put workers on your board and take them off. And they're going to, from what I remember, they're both going to activate. The ones you put on and the ones you take off. Uh, very clear. See board. I'm just going to hold up this so you can kind of see it. Very clear what that fortress does. Though I don't remember exactly. Uh, you can see the worker placement spots of these circles. So that's where your Vikings are going to go. I don't remember what the different symbols mean, but there's obviously victory points. Um, iconography is really good. I'm going to flip to the harbor here just so you can kind of see it. Nice and clear. Easy to see from across. Um, not huge, though. A little bit small, depending on how big your board is or how big your table is. Just some more indicators. Pretty easy to see. Um, these obviously get filled in with those tiles. You can see when I did the other thing. Okay, box insert, not, almost non-existent. I gotta say, minus points, Renegade Games, for um, that, I guess it, it works. Um, yet again, a box insert designed for transportation and packaging more so than functionality. Um, I can tell I could put the cards back in here, but I don't think they're gonna stay very well. We do have dice. We'll take those out, take a quick look. As far as I can tell, these are standard D6s. No, they are not. So three, three, two, four, five. Nope. Three, three, four, four, two, five. Interesting. That is an interesting distribution of dice. Uh, worth noting, these are um, actually etched, like inset. So you're not going to have to worry about the paint coming off. And if you did, uh, both dice are the same. So we have two red, not quite D6s. Nice shiny, good quality, rounded edges. Nice enough dice. I rolled a seven or a two and a five. It comes in its own little baggie. I'm not going to bother with that. Then we have a bag of baggies. At least everything has a baggie. So bonus points for that. At least I can put everything back in its baggie here. But I don't see a baggie to put these cards in once I've opened it. So we're going to take a look at each of these components quick. I'm just going to pull one thing out of every bag. So we have black colored Viking meeple. That's the other thing that, from what I remember of this game, that's interesting to note is you don't move your own Vikings. You just put Vikings out and take Vikings away. So someone else could put Vikings out that you then take away. It's not like you're putting your Vikings out, which I thought was interesting. I don't remember the difference between the black and the white. I do apologize for that. As I said, it's been a long time since I played this, but I'm mainly here to show off the components. I do dig the little dudes, even though I know there's some purists out there that are probably upset that the Vikings have horned helmets. Maybe in the artwork they don't. Then we have, I think these are scoring markers. They're for tracking a couple things. I think they're scoring and then how well you're doing on the track to Valhalla. Uh, these are in player colors. Kind of not quite squares. Banners. Actually, those would be banners, I would assume, like that. So that's just the green one. You got all the player colors here. Standard player colors, red, yellow, green, and blue. Now we have some resources. I do appreciate this. The resources look like things. Like this is a little pot of gold, bag of gold, black symbol, black thing. Always appreciated that when it's not just cubes. I don't mind cubes sometimes. Again, I don't know exactly what these are. Maybe this is a bag of grain. I may also have it upside down. Cattle, possibly, with the horns. But wooden, solid wood, painted, light brown. This, I'm going to guess, is some type of gold nugget. Oh, thank you, camera. Again, I like that it's just, it's not round, it's not square, it's got a shape to it. Oh, we have more gray Vikings. So you have three different colors of Vikings. And I notice now that those actually match the board. So the board here has spots for gray and white Vikings down here. And only white Vikings at the top. So another gray Viking. And we got one more bag. For stone. Yep. 
So this looks the same as the gold, but it's dark gray. We're going to save the best component for last. There's something really fancy and nice in here. So gray stone. Again, just cooler than cubes. Cubes are fine, but nowadays it's nice to have this nice touch to, to things are actually unique. Oh, yeah, deck of cards. Rather thick deck of cards. Has cigarette style opening as usual. Forget that. We're going to grab the hobby knife. Be careful not to cut any of the cards and just open this up at the top. Well, I appreciate companies trying to put those things on. I find half, more than half the time they don't work. These are an awful lot of Vikings and then some boats. I dig the art. Art's really nice on these, actually. Here's the boats. And then an awful lot of Viking warriors. Artwork's nice. Really nice. This guy, I'm not sure how we can see. Come on, camera. You can do it. There we go. Oh, I dig this guy. Kind of looks like Count Dooku from the Clone Wars, though. Very clear to see. Uh, names on the side. Symbols are really simple. Plus, gain an additional silver with the silver mist. Or play, lose two silver to gain one gold. Nice to see they're not all men. It's a nice touch. It's appreciated. This guy looks very angry. So you go, a bunch of the artwork. Very nice artwork. Nowhere great to put these cards now, though. Art on the back is pretty nice, too. That's the back of the cards. So again, all I got is this silly place to put these. It's kind of here. Which works, I guess. It's it's not terrible. So here's the highlight, though. Metal coins. Big bonus. Metal coins. And they're nice. Like I say, they're nice etched. They're not quite round. They look like something that was could have been minted in Viking times. Big props for those. Really nice metal coins. A baggie. Yet another game where we're going to pull something out of a bag at some point. And that is it. I put the cards back in here. That's what we have for Raiders of the North Sea. I am really looking forward to playing this game. Uh, the little bit of a demo I did was fantastic. I do hear that the game gets way better with the expansions, but at this point, I'll just be checking out the base game. So this was a review copy. This was provided by Renegade Games for the purposes of me writing a review. Uh, that will be coming sometime in the coming months. If you follow me on social media, that's just tabletop bellhop, one word, all over the place. You'll get to hear me playing when I play the game. I always share when I'm playing at the local game store who I played it with. Share pictures. Um, also on Instagram. Oh, I forgot to put the bag back. Um, you'll be able to see my thoughts on the game as I play. And then eventually I will be publishing a full review on the website. And for those who don't remember from the top of the show, that's tabletopbellhop.com. So that was Raiders of the North Sea from Renegade Games and Garfield Games. Uh, really impressed with the quality. Nice, tight, like this is heavy. I, box insert, not the best. Um, everything had baggies, set the cards. I know putting cards in baggies is weird, but that's what I do so they don't shuffle all over the place. If you sleeve the cards, they're probably fine. Not the best box insert, but it'll do. Uh, I don't see any room for an expansion, though. I know there are expansions for this game. There was no spare room in here, so... I don't know for sure because I don't own the expansions. Um, looks pretty good. Dig the art. Art style is really nice. Game looks fantastic. I got to say, the game looks good. I like worker placement games. And then you're mixing that with worker placement and displacement, which is something new and unique, which I dig. Um, so that was Raiders of the North Sea from Renegade Games. So I am the Tabletop Bellhop. Uh, the main thing I like to do is answer people's gaming and game night questions. That's what we're here for. We're trying to be a dear Abby for gamers. I'd like you to send questions you have to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Uh, and you can find answers to those questions on the blog, on Twitch, uh, live streamed Wednesday nights, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we also stream our gameplay sometimes. So we often play Gloomhaven Friday nights, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. If we're not playing Gloomhaven, we often play something else. Uh, we try to do that every week. That goes live at 8.30. Again, just watch my social media. That's the easiest. We'll let you know when we're going live. Um, if you do appreciate the content we produce, it'd be cool if you went over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping the bellhop team. 
Uh, other than that, it'd be cool if you hit the subscribe button before you go or the follow button if you happen to still be on Twitch. Uh, for Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. This has been a cardboard coat check where we opened up Raiders of the North Sea from Renegade Games. Good night and game on.